it there we're gonna do our nice popping natural glam with a pop of green and this look is inspired by B Marie on Instagram I love her I love her work and yeah let's get into it so I'm starting out by prepping my lid I already did my brows off camera and I'm prepping my lid with the P Louise base number two the P Louise number two base and I'm just patting that out um, and I'm layering that base also so I think this is like my second layer of that base I'm applying it okay so something that I normally do is combine my P Louise base and my Mac Pro Longwear concealer and I find that it gives me a flawless transition between my brow bone area and my lid space so I love doing that to create like a flawless transition. Okay guys, so now I'm going in with my Zulu palette from Juvia's Place and I'm going to apply that brown color to my lid and I'm going to apply it at an angle because that's how B. Marie did hers so I'm going to try to replicate it as best as I possibly can. If you guys notice that I, as I put the color down, I'm kind of blending it out ever so slightly and just, just to create like a, a transition when I put my, the other color on top of it. So now I'm going to go in with my ABH palette um, by Norvina and I'm going to apply that other soft brown color and I'm gonna blend that out blend out the Juvia's Place um, shadow with that color Okay, so now that I'm satisfied with the blending of this shadow, I'm going to go in with my Zulu palette again and I'm going to intensify my colors. So now I'm using this yellow from the Zulu palette to be my transition color. And I'm gonna apply that to my brow bone and blend that out. Okay, so I'm pretty much satisfied with the blending and now I'm going to go in with some more of that P. Louise base and I'm going to apply that to my lid, the inner corner of my lid and I'm going to blend that out. Thank you. 
So this process was a little difficult because the PLE space wouldn't blend as I wanted it to blend and I didn't want to make the shadow muddy so I just decided to leave it because when I apply that shimmer color it's gonna it's gonna blend out flawlessly and I'll be able to fix that later. If you notice I switched brushes I went to a um, a more dense brush but it still didn't blend the way I wanted it to blend so I was like forget it okay so now we're gonna move on to the shimmer color and we're gonna lay that down we're gonna pack that down pack that on and then we're gonna blend it out The shimmer color is from the is from a Juvia's Place palette, the green palette. Um, later on in this video, you guys are gonna see the palette. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, I am now going to go in and I'm going to blur out the edges of that shimmer color and I'm going to blur it out into the matte browns. After I'm through with that, I am going to go in with some more of that brown from the Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to kind of drag that on the shimmer color. Just to create more of a transition, a flawless transition, and to give it some depth and some shape. Shape, guys. Yes, guys, so I was getting hyped because this look was coming out. It was coming out like something. It was starting to look like something, yes. I'm just gonna go in with a little more of that shimmer color just to intensify the inner section of the lid. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Sephora liner and I'm gonna create my wing line. And later on, I'm gonna make it thicker, but I'm gonna do that off camera. The wing line was the toughest for me because I have um, hooded eyes and I just wasn't, you know, I didn't wanna mess it up, but you know, I was able to work something out. I was able to work something out. You guys can see later that I made it, you know, a bit thicker. I am super proud of myself. I've learned to master the wing line 
on myself even though I have hooded eyes so yes you can do it if you have hooded eyes you can still enjoy a proper wing line okay so keep on practicing and doing your damn thing because it gonna come out to something anywho I am gonna move on to my bottom lid and I prepped it with some of that base and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply that green color under there because she had green under her eyes and this is the palette I was talking about earlier the um, the shimmer color is from this palette Okay, so I didn't just use the bright green. I also used the, the darker green color. So I applied the bright green as like a foundation and then I went in closer to my um, lower um, lash line and I applied that darker green. So I did my under eye lashes off camera and now I'm gonna prep my face with my Fenty primer. I think this is matte, the matte primer. And I love this primer. I'm just gonna work that all the way in where my pores are like, ugh, opened and never closed. So I'm just gonna massage that into that area just to help like seep into that pore and give me flawless finish. Now I'm going in with my second primer. Yes, I used to. And this is from Urban Decay. I think this is also mattifying. And I'm just gonna work that in as best as I can. And a little goes a long way with the Urban Decay primer because it's so thick. And uh, it has almost like a, uh, um, a velvet kind of texture. A thick velvet texture. Now I'm gonna use my Fenty. I haven't used her in a minute. I've been obsessed with the um, Too Faced Born This Way foundation, but I wanted to go back to my baby, my good old Fenty Beauty matte. Okay, so the thing is with the Fenty foundation, what I've noticed is I like the payoff way better but I don't mind, you know, using the Too Faced foundation, the Born This Way foundation. And, like, it gives me more of a dewy payoff, to say. Like, a more dewy payoff. The Fenty gave me a matte payoff, and I like the matte payoff. But I like the dewy payoff, too, you know? It's makeup. Whatever, whatever. I could do whatever. Anyway, let me stop rambling. Sorry, guys. Anyway, now I'm going to go in with my concealer. This concealer is by Too Faced, and it is Mahogany. And I'm going to apply that underneath my lid. And all about... Also, guys, I have a makeup class coming up, uh, online makeup class. If you guys are interested, just DM me on Instagram and let me know. It's a beginner's class and it's going to be perfect if you're now starting to learn about makeup and practicing and so on and so forth. I'll be sharing my tips and tricks with you all. So get down with the get down and DM me and we could take it from there yeah 
So I went in with my Laura Mercier um, medium translucent powder and immediately I am going to brush that off just because I don't want that like you know strong focused powdered look so I'm just gonna blend that off right away Now I'm going to take my MAC um, powders and I'm using NW58 and NW50. NW50 I'm going to use to set the bottom portion of my face and NW50 face, oh lord I can't talk, Ugh. anyway NW58 I'm going to use that to contour my cheekbones. I'm going to use that to chisel out my cheekbones and yeah. All right, so if you've been watching this video to this point, drop some fire emojis down below, okay? If you've watched this video to this point, I appreciate you. You are close to my heart. You're the bomb. Thank you. Anyway, I'm now going in with my Juvia's Place blush uh, and highlight palette. And I'm going to apply some of that blush. So I accidentally applied a little too much on one of my cheek. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Um, yeah, it turned out bomb anyway. It wasn't, it wasn't like too too much it was just too much for me because I don't OD with the blush so yeah anyway we are going in with our highlighter we're gonna use our ABH highlighter from the Sun Dip glow kit and then we're gonna go in with some of our Juvia's Place highlighter from that blush palette and honey do you guys see this payoff do y'all see this payoff? Like, no, 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 no. I don't think y'all see it. Do you see it? Like, open. Oh, Lord. Shine bright like a diamond. Hello. Okay, guys. So, I think I did a good job recreating this look. And actually got a shout out from B. Marie herself. Yes, honey, on Instagram. Um, she said I slayed this look. I was so hyped. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing and commenting. Please continue to support my channel. I am a baby YouTuber and all the support is needed, honey. Thank you so much and God bless.